How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're trying to buy and sell cryptocurrency, uh, you may notice that depending on your location, you may have access to more or less cryptocurrency. Um, Binance may be banned in, it is actually banned in certain countries. So if you're in one of those countries, of course, you're gonna need to use a VPN. Uh, in the States, for example, Binance has less crypto options. Um, and in order to you know, get access to the full features and options of Binance and all of the cryptocurrencies, you're gonna need to use a VPN. Of course, not just any VPN, you're gonna need a VPN with powerful obfuscation so that Binance does not detect that you're using a VPN so that you're able to successfully bypass these restri restrictions. Um, so, you know, when dealing with sensitive information, generally, of course, especially if you're, let's say, using banking applications, be it on your phone or PC or anything, not just cryptocurrency, it is recommended to use a VPN that is able to uh, protect your information properly without logging your traffic or anything like that. So I'm going to have a few recommendations for you guys today. And uh, that'll be ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to know the ins and outs of these VPNs in terms of privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So keep that in mind if you guys are interested. So with that out of the way, uh, you've got ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. So I wanna make this pretty short. And if you're looking for the best experience overall, uh, a VPN that is just world renowned for its ability to unblock streaming services. Not just that, you've got top of the line security, of course, and encryption on top of the best no log and privacy policy in the industry, in my opinion. And I think with regards to the no logs policy, you have to um, show evidence that you do have a no log policy. I wouldn't recommend taking any VPN's word for it when it comes to no log policies and their privacy policies. Uh, but with regards to ExpressVPN, uh, we do have quite a few independent audits that um, resulted in very good standing. And not only are there independent audits to prove their no log policy, you also have a real life situation in uh, 2017, for example, in Turkey, uh, the Turkish government or authorities seized an ExpressVPN server uh, as part of an investigation. Uh, it was an assassination uh, and they were not able to extract any kind of information out of the server thanks to ExpressVPN's uh, no log policy. There were just no logs and they were not able to link any specific activity to a certain IP address or user. So really when it comes to evidence of a no log policy, it's as real as it gets with uh, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN will allow you to secure up to five devices per subscription. And you've got up to 94 countries. And as I mentioned before, it has a very good streaming capabilities. For, so for example, with regards to Netflix, ExpressVPN is able to unblock up to 18 Netflix libraries, 10 with Nord and 15 with Surfshark. So uh, that gives you a little bit of an idea of how good ExpressVPN with streaming uh, services. Of course, if you're trying to unblock uh, Netflix US, by the way, uh, that only ExpressVPN is able to unblock that, uh, especially considering Netflix's uh, recent crackdown, rendering most VPNs useless uh, when it comes to unblocking uh, Netflix. So, of course, if you're looking to unblock, uh, if you're looking to actually secure one more device because five devices are not enough with Express, you can go ahead and get yourself uh, uh, a subscription with Nord, which will allow you to secure six devices with just one subscription. So that's one more device with ExpressVPN. What else are you getting with NordVPN? You're getting specialty servers. You're getting the powerful Nord Lynx protocol, which makes NordVPN the fastest VPN. Uh, although faster than ExpressVPN by about, you could say, three to five percent. Um, and you've got an app blocker, a regular kill switch, as well as an app kill switch. By the way, of course, all of these VPNs have the primary features, primary security features that every premium VPN should have, which is the kill switch and split tunneling, of course, and a handful of protocols. There you go. It's called network lock here and split tunneling. So, uh, of course, you've got it here. It's just that in uh, NordVPN, you do have an app kill switch, uh, which is a little bit different. The regular kill switch will disable your internet when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. However, the app kill switch will terminate or end tasks uh, for selected applications if your VPN disconnects unexpectedly. So 
Uh, that could be useful if you don't want your internet connection to get disconnected for one, re one reason or another. Split tunneling, of course, if you didn't know, will allow you to choose which applications use the VPN and which don't. Um, you've got custom DNS in obfuscated servers. If you're having trouble connecting to these servers, if you're in a censorship heavy country, this will uh, help you bypass the uh, Great Firewall of China and an easy way to change DNS here with custom DNS. So of course, you've got plenty of options here. That's uh, what NordVPN is about. Really, it's giving you quite a few uh, options. And if you choose OpenVPN, by the way, you'll get access to dedicated IP and double VPN. Uh, dedicated IP is, well, just set IPs. You'll always have the same IPs whenever you return to these uh, servers. And double VPN will route your connection through two servers rather than one uh, for double the security on your over VPN. will give you access to the dark web without uh, using the Tor browser. And peer-to-peer -peer is for peer-to-peer -peer activity. Uh, although even regular servers work and support peer-to-peer, -peer, so you don't really need to use these servers. So if you're not satisfied with securing only six devices, uh, and let's say you don't want to get a router because the only way to secure an unlimited amount of devices with uh, ExpressVPN and NordVPN is by getting a router. And certain compatible routers can be a little bit um, expensive, you know, between $100 and $200. So this is when Surfshark has your back. Let's say if you don't want to get a compatible router. With Surfshark, you'll be able to secure an unlimited amount of devices with just one subscription, which is very generous of Surfshark. Considering how cheap it is, really, you're roughly paying 60 bucks for 24 months. So, you know, you're still getting, you're not exactly sacrificing that much on security and speed, but you are going to get slower speeds than NordVPN and Express uh, VPN. So keep that in mind. If speed is something um, that is very important to you, then NordVPN, just stick to NordVPN or ExpressVPN if you're looking for the top security. That'll definitely be ExpressVPN. If you're looking for top speed, that'll be NordVPN. If you're looking for just a VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost and it is able to secure an unlimited amount of devices, then definitely go with Surfshark because you're still getting pretty good um, features here. You know, of course, you got Whitelister, which is split tunneling, kill switch and ad blocker. Uh, what else are you getting? Of course, the WireGuard protocol and Shadow Socks protocol. I would recommend sticking with WireGuard protocol, though. Shadow Socks protocol will help you reach banned uh, websites if you're in a censorship heavy country. So it could be useful for uh, Binance, but usually just switching to another server and switching to changing your IP address address that will suffice no borders mode will help you bypass internet censorship firewalls such as the great firewall of china so that'll be it for these uh, vpns of course they're all top tier vpns at the top of the industry hierarchy you could say in terms of vpns um, they satisfy most needs when it comes to uh, vpn usage they're super easy to use they're available on almost every single modern device out there including smart tvs and just whatever device you can think of as well as you know fire stick and all these streaming devices all their plans have a 30-day money-back guarantee so that's very convenient you can change your mind and uh, ask their ask for a refund through their 24 hour live chat support, which is pretty helpful with all these VPNs. They're all very professional and knowledgeable agents. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs in terms of privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find links to full reviews in the description down below, as well as special deals and discounts. So feel free to take advantage of those while they last. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.